The biggest, baddest, worst hacks of 2016, coming up now on ThreatWire. Greetings, I am Shannon Morris and this is ThreatWire for Tuesday, December 27, 2016. I hope everyone is enjoying their time off work if you are still vacationing. This is your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. I also hope that our patrons over at patreon.com slash threatwire are enjoying the perks that we have been including. We will have more in stock for you in 2017, so thank you for letting us bring you security news every single week. Let's get into our top hacks of 2016. These are rated based Based on amount of users affected, amount of money stolen, or potential outcomes of the hack. Number five is government agencies. During the late spring, the IRS released details on a hack they believe stole taxpayers' online e-file PIN codes from IRS.gov. 800 identity thefts were reported before the IRS suspended their PIN program, which allowed users to log in securely to file their tax paperwork. The attackers successfully stole 100,000 PIN codes that they matched up to some of the previously stolen half a billion social security numbers. With a PIN, thieves could target individuals and further identity theft, leading to losses of funds and major headaches. Along with this was the National Security Agency's loss of several hacking tools that they used for state-sponsored hacks. A group called Shadow Brokers released the tools for sale on the web, saying that they belonged to the NSA's hacking group called the Equation Group. Edward Snowden later released documents to The Intercept, proving that the documents were real. The NSA also had a mishap with another contractor who stole internal documents from the agency and, get this, he kept them in his car as well as his home. The contractor was not charged under the Espionage Act because there was no proof of him actually sharing the documents with anyone else. Lastly, the DNC had several thousand emails stolen by Guccifer 2.0 in a story that is still unfolding. Some speculate that this was a Russian-sponsored hack, while others say that there is no proof. The evidence is inconclusive currently, so this will be a story that we continue to follow for the next year. Number four is Adult Friend Finder and the Friend Finder Network, which was hacked earlier this year in a breach of over 400 million email addresses, IP addresses, last logins, and passwords for the biggest sex and swinger community, including sites like adultfriendfinder.com. The hack was not the largest for the year, but the release of data from the network could be disastrous for any users involved. See blackmail, for example. This hack also showed that FriendFinder Network was not fully erasing accounts that were thought to be deleted, as they were still found in the data. The network stored passwords in plain text, or SHA-1, both of which are bad news, and 99% of the passwords were decrypted. Number three is Mirai and Dyn. Back in September, a botnet that used Internet of Things devices such as security cameras was the malware behind a DDoS of a website by Brian Krebs, which was determined to be over 620 gigabits per second, the largest DDoS on record to hit a site. Krebs' account of the attack swept the news for weeks afterwards as IoT devices started to be scrutinized for having default root logins and terrible, terrible security. Later, another hack using the same botnet called Mirai targeted a DNS server company called Dyn in October of 2016. This hack also used IoT devices to spread and it attacked Dyn with over 1.2 terabits per second. Now that one was the largest on record. Dyn was able to resolve the DDoS, but not before several popular sites were taken offline, including Twitter, Etsy, Slack, Shopify, PayPal, Netflix, GitHub. I could go on and on and on with this. No one actually knows who started the attack, but this started a discussion about the future of IoT security. Number two is Swift Banking Transactions. The biggest bank heist to happen this year was through Swift, the banking network used to enable banking institutions across the world to send and receive transactional data securely. Well, it wasn't as secure as we thought, and attackers were able to use legit Swift credentials through vulnerabilities in member banks to send transfers to other banks that were not supposed to be the legitimate receiver. The thieves got away with over 81 million USD in this hack, which was not the first time that Swift has been targeted. Science pointed to North Korea in a state-sponsored hack, but final details were not confirmed. And number one on our list 
actually changed at the last minute. Yahoo confirmed in mid-December that 1 billion users had their account data stolen in a hack dating back to 2013. The data included email addresses, names, dates of birth, hashed MD5 passwords, and more. This is the largest hack ever reported and most likely is compiled of most, if not all, accounts with Yahoo. Yahoo is currently trying to be sold to Verizon for several billion dollars, but with this news, Verizon is reviewing their purchase carefully. This is the second time in 2016 that Yahoo has publicly disclosed a hack, the first being another 500 million accounts back in October. A site I like to check is HaveIBeenPwned.com, which shows if your account was included in any kind of related hacks. As usual, make sure that you don't use the same password across the internet. Thank you again for being patrons of ThreatWire. You can contribute over at patreon.com slash threatwire to get your name on threatwire.net, as well as your own fur baby in the show, and you also get access to our audio feed by becoming a patron. If you can't contribute, give the show a thumbs up, subscribe on youtube.com slash hack5, and click on the little notifications button if you want to be the first to see the show when it goes public. I'm curious how many likes we can get on this episode. You can find all of our episodes, links to our social networks, and other ways to contribute over at threatwire.net. With that, I am Shannon Morse, and I will see you on the internet. Have a happy and secure 2017.